about 40 or 50 feet and three kind of one in tight and one a little bit bigger and one a little bit wider and then packed it down and added about eight to ten inches of packed soaked chips on top of each layer and then did another one and so there's eight layers mm. in this mound it's around 10 tons it took about 40 or 50 hours of people hours like three people at a time whatever to build the coils are at least three feet from the edge of the mound and it's really packed us so, I mean there's a lot of insulation from where the water line is but I'm, I'm sure that it'll lose heat in the winter French guy was in southern France and didn't really have much of a winter, but he, he made statements that it would work anywhere, and the compost people I've talked to say this, it might cool off a little on the edges, but in the center it shouldn't, so. So what do you have in there? It's just a tank? Well, I put like a 55 gallon uh, plastic food barrel, he had it's a pickle barrel, and it's just, we filled it up like half full of water just for stability. He claimed it lasts, they last 18 to 24 months. Which I've heard from several other kind of compost experts that wood chips typically take two years to break down. So the whole time, if they're as they're breaking down and the bacteria are doing their thing, there's heat being put out. And so we're basically just compressing all that and trying to capture and transfer that heat. Then so would you would you move them out and put new ones in? After yeah. Them? So after it stops working, we tear it down. Which by that time it'll be pretty dried out and you know like almost like dirt. The really cool thing about this is you know if we could actually heat our house with this without burning anything and the end result is a bunch of really valuable compost you know yeah, the whole awesome. re rebuild the soil because I think that's one of the biggest you know like everybody who's into the climate change carbon stuff most people are not realizing that soil depletion is probably our biggest problem of all this stuff and that getting more carbon in the soil will actually solve a lot of the carbon in the air. I talked to a couple radiant floor heating companies and they said that if you had 120 degree water at a gallon a minute, you could heat a thousand square feet. A a hundred bucks for each of those loaded chips. It still would make sense I think because you you know if this really heats a thousand square feet for two winters, that's like what, three thousand dollars worth of heating fuel value, I mean at least.